Welcome, loyal subjects, to The Devil Plays Tamarin. So, if you've seen the latest lore, I've been transformed into a monkey. I know that's weird. I'm trying to figure it out myself. But apparently Mugman learned magic. This is a thing now. And now I am stuck in this form. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to learn from this. All I'm seeing is that there's a red monkey, there's aliens with guns that are insect-based, and I don't know what I'm supposed to learn from this. So let's choose a new game, and let's see what this is about. Also, the reason there is a file there, I have not played this. Kaiser had to run a few tests on this game, and it took a while for him to figure it out. So that's why there is a play file already open. I myself have not played this. Let's dive right in. Memoirs of a Tamarin. Your memoirs will appear before you start the game. Look for the blue lights. Okay. So what am I supposed to learn from this? Well, first off, the environments are quite lush. Very pretty. Admittedly, it's quite gorgeous. Reminds me of the Garden of Eden. See... Oh! That's what I've been turned into. One of those little rodents. I guess they're tamarind monkeys, but... Chibified. I guess. So, what exactly... Okay, now we're in some sort of factory setting. And there's giant bugs. Lots of them, in fact. And they have guns. And I'm seeing a lot of pollution. What What is going on here exactly? I get what I'm seeing, but I'm not comprehending what I'm seeing. Uh, they're killing birds and... What? This is a bit bizarre. Okay, so... Apparently this one tamarind monkey has been separated from his family? And... Well, this is certainly a tragic start. I mean, I enjoy tragedy, but what in the world? Okay, so I can jump with A, move with left stick, move all around, can roll, and do anything else. Okay, I can do some sort of weird little dash thing in the air. Okay, I can jump on these rocks. What are... Okay, there's these weird token thingies. I'll take them, I guess. They look like little insect faces. Okay, the nest is empty. I... What am I looking at here? I, I get what I'm seeing, but why did this happen? I don't understand that. That's the part I'm lo losing here. What happened here? Well, I suppose we'll explore a little bit, see our surroundings, and kind of go from there. So everything here is destroyed and desolate. I, I get that they're trying to invade, I guess, but... For what reason? Why are these insects, these ants and beetles and things, invading anyway? I'm a bit lost, not going to lie, but this is what Mugman wants me to play, so if it means getting back to my devilish good looks, then I suppose I've got no choice. Hey, where'd the thing go? Okay, I can use the left trigger to lock on and... Okay, I can do a backflip of sorts, or a front flip. This little monkey thing is rather squeaky. I'm not sure if I like it. I mean, yes, I understand it's small, but does it have to squeak like this every time I do a flip? I don't get that. What do we have here? Springboard not yet activated. Oh, so this game teases you, does it? Very well. At the very least, it lets you know that there are things on the way. So that's a plus, I suppose. So, what is this giant door? Now, let's see if I can catch this thing. I did. What is it exactly? Some sort of... bug. Are bugs just the things that make things work here? Apparently so, because it's activating this door. What is happening here? I mean, with Dark Souls I understood, you know, I had to get out of things and fight monsters, but this is... This is a whole other level of I don't get what I'm seeing. Are we about to enter a snowy mountain? Well, no gusts, no glory. Let's find out. 
Okay, I'm in a woods, I think. And there's a molehill, I think? What am I looking at here? Well, the game is telling me to go this way, so I'm gonna go this way. Is that a hedgehog? Well, at least it looks somewhat normal. Don't be startled. I've survived because I've hid down here, utterly frightened and all spiked up. Well, good defense mechanism, I suppose. I'm a monkey. Figure that one out. I'm on your side. Are you okay? Uh, aside from being a monkey, I'm not so sure. I lost my family, my home is destroyed, everything is busted up where I live. So sad. Your family taken away, with the forest burnt down and your house demolished. It can't get any bleaker, can it? No, it clearly can't. I think. What is your purpose? Indeed, the forest have become full of armed, brutal insects. They're building factories, expanding and polluting. Very clearly, given the green water we saw earlier, and the giant smoky factory area. So bad, I'll just pop back down here until the world ends, if that's alright with you. Oh, so you're one of those that just quits. Okay, you run along, I'll handle this. Ah, sorry, we're in this together, distressed furry friend. Let me give you a warm hedge hug. Everything will be alright. Not sure that's a good idea, given you're spiky and that will hurt. Well, we can't run into heavily guarded forests like sobbing little monkeys, can we? You think you're funny, do you? Take this. You've acquired the- Wait, what the hell?! Um... I've just been given a gun. I've been given a gun! I'm a monkey with a gun! What is this game?! Aim with the right stick, hold R right trigger to shoot- WHAT?! Hold left trigger to lock onto- do you see that switch over there? Try locking onto it, then shoot it down to activate the- I'm a mo I, I want you all to take this in. I'm a goddamn red monkey with a pistol. That's called an Uzi. What is this game and why am I playing it? Okay, so I need to shoot that green thing, right? So let's try to shoot it. Whoa! This thing shoots two bullets a shot! Okay. Interesting. Let's try to shoot it again. Okay, that, I think, opened the door? Okay, so for certain switches you need to shoot crystals to open the door. And now we're- wait, what is going on? What? Whoa, 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 what? What? Oh, narrator all of a sudden? Liberate this once peaceful land okay. Insects. Army of invading insects. Got it. Sap Understood. Are loaded with Sap crystals. Help you survive. Okay, so that's health. Beware Got it. Of drones. In so these bugs drones. are called drones. In the forest, they roam in groups. Okay, Watch so... For enemies above you. So Take there's also using different weapons. color drones? Okay, I got it. On ammunition. Okay, there's ammo crates too. What is this game? Use I am immensely confused. I am a monkey with a gun who has to save a forest? A mountain? To what? I am immensely lost right now. I must admit, I can't understand what I'm doing here, but now I have to shoot insects with a gun. I... What the hell am I playing? What am I playing here? I am beyond lost and confused. Okay, there's also a bird. I can... I can collect the bird. The bird is a collectible. Okay, I can collect birds! Birds! This is the weirdest thing I've played today. And I... What? Okay, so at least the shooting feels good. And wow, they even have little flies like surround them when they die. This is an interesting choice. Why the hell did Mugman give me this? I... What am I supposed to learn from this? That if an army is invading, you shoot them down with a gun? What am I supposed to learn from this? How long is this game? Because I've got to learn something by the end of it. Otherwise, I'm not being turned back into my old self. I've got to figure this out. So, for the time being, I guess I've got to do what the game expects me to and save the forest? And everything in between? I'm guessing it has to do with the birds. The birds are important to this somehow. I guess I have to save them. So whenever I see a bird, save it. Okay, you're safe. Oh, did that thing's head just come off? That... 
insect's head just flew off of its body. This game is surprisingly gory. What in the... Okay, get the bird. Save the birds. Saving birds is important. For some baffling reason I can't explain. But saving the birds apparently is a good thing. Okay. Hey, you! Die! Did it just explode? That thing just exploded! It's like a million little pieces! This game is nasty! In the sense that things just blow up when you shoot them? I'm not sure how I feel about this game. Okay. I've gotten through a door. And I don't know what I'm seeing here. There's... There's... Wait, what's going on? Why did it stop me? There's... What are those? They, they have color. What, what are they? They're just floating in front of the door. Okay. Are they important? Do I need to... I guess I have to shoot them? Oh, they shoot back. They shoot back. Okay. 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 Just shoot them, I guess? Why, why was I given a goddamn gun? Why am I shooting insect aliens? What is this? This makes no sense. I've got... I need to research on this. Oh, big boy, big boy. Big, 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 big beetle thing. Big beetle thing with a big gun. Okay, I'm I'm fighting a beetle with a gun. That's apparently a rocket launcher. What the... I'm getting... Okay, I, that does a lot of damage. Okay. This thing is strong. Oh, okay. This is just... You have to be careful now, apparently. Okay, 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 okay. Carefully, carefully now. Carefully. That thing took a lot of damage to kill, didn't it? Okay, uh, that was a thing. Uh, I also shot a switch, apparently. Okay, good, I, I did a thing. What the hell am I playing? What, what did Mugman just give me to play and complete? What is this? I am so lost. Do I need to shoot this too? Okay, I'm shooting it, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't think I can do anything with that yet. Let's go through this door, because we have opened it, apparently. Okay, I'm collecting these token things. Are these a form of currency? Do I need to buy things with this? Apparently so, because I just got given this. Who would have thought? Little Emperor Tamarin, your meekness is no weakness. You just never give up. Apparently so! I've been given a gun and I'm just shooting insects! But it's a dangerous forest. That's what it is. And I sure would like just to beef you up. Okay, so this guy is like a weapons vendor? Would it be possible to ask a favor this time? I collect things. Little red things. Just a few insect tokens. Okay, these are tokens. If that's alright with you. A machine? I can get a machine gun? I, I have a machine gun now. This gun holds rapid but inaccurate firepower. Okay. Uh, I have to save this monkey's family with an Uzi and a machine... What? I have a machine gun now. What? Why would you give the monkey a machine gun? This doesn't seem like a logical thing to do. There's, there's birds in that cage. I think I need to save the birds. Okay. So I, I'm guessing it's that other door. So, let's go through the other door. Armed with a machine gun! Let me reiterate this. A red tamarind monkey is wielding a machine gun. Figure that out! Okay, apparently these flag posts are save states, so use that to your advantage, I guess. Okay, so we can use a machine gun, but from what I'm seeing, it is, as the hedgehog described, highly inaccurate. But whenever I pick up a gun, it reloads the ammo anyway, so as long as we pick up the guns, we'll have a steady stream of ammunition. Oh, and it does it for both guns. That's useful. Cool. I kind of like that. Okay, that gun is dead. Uh, picked up some regular ammo, so let's switch guns. Let's use a regular gun for a bit. The only difference between... That thing can lob grenades. That's not fair. The only difference I'm noticing between the guns is that one fires faster and has a different shooting sound and the other has like a burst type thing going on. I'm hearing ticking noises. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Okay, I've gotten a... Oh! A health capacity increase. I'm guessing there are special sapstones that... What is that ticking noise? You hear that, right? 
that ticking noise is definitely concerning. So, best be cautious about that, shall we? Okay, time to... Oh, that's what it is. It's a mine. I guess the field is its danger zone, so don't... Don't step on it. Okay, blast these things. You know what, I'm feeling like going crazy. Let's use the Uzi. Oh, actually, the machine gun. should correct myself. Let's use a machine gun to blast an ant alien in the face. Their bodies just disintegrate when they die. That's weird. Then again, this entire thing is weird. This is a weird game, and I'm not sure if I like it or not. But, I mean, I get to cause chaos as a little red monkey, and I get to shoot aliens. I will take this over Dark Souls any day of the week, but I am still very perplexed by it. I took care of that problem. So, yay! We got rid of the freaking issue with a gun. All right, now we've got more of these floating things. Okay, let's take them out. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. It's just, you know, typical fare. Shoot the aliens down, whatever. Okay, just blast that last one. Come on. Did that thing just kamikaze and kill me? I... I died to a small floating insect. Oh, and I went all the way back? Okay, so... Losing your lives in this game means going back to the last checkpoint. Okay. Good to know. Alright, let's do this a bit more carefully this time. Mugman, I'm questioning why you want me to play this. This is by far the strangest thing. I have ever seen. I don't know how to feel about this. This is ridiculous. And the fact that things just explode like that really throws me off guard. This game has a cutesy art style and yet things are blowing up left and right. Wait, did I get the health thing? Okay, I don't need to go back to that. I got the health thing and apparently it kept. Cool. I'm also noticing that there's a dead bird icon here. So you can shoot them? You can... You can shoot birds. Okay. I think I understand what Mugman's game here is! That almost blew me up. Gotta be more careful. Alright, so let's keep going. I think I get what Mugman's trying to do. He's trying to pose a morality system on me. Ha! Joke's on him. Doesn't matter how evil or good I will act, I'm still going to be the devil. My morals are bad no matter what. He can't just change that about me. I'm evil for God's sakes. Well, for me's sake. But still, if he's trying to impose some sort of morality in me, it's not gonna work. I'm evil, goddammit. I'm going to stay evil. And I just fell. Still, honestly, that's a good thing, because it further it gives me a chance to further illustrate the point. I am literally the devil. How is he going to impose some sort of morality system on me when all I know is evil? Makes no sense to me, I think. Still, for what I am playing, I am interested and intrigued. This is not the game I anticipated it to be. I expected it to be just some cute fuzzy thing where you just go around eating fruits and vegetables all day and you have to do some cutesy quest. I was not anticipating the fact that I would be shooting aliens with guns all around a forest. I didn't expect the explosions, I didn't expect blood, I didn't expect any of this. This is not what I anticipated with this game. I expected this to be some sort of cutesy simulator type thing, but no, it's some sort of action adventure thing. The explosion did two damage even though there was no explosion to be had after the fact. This game is insane. All right, let's gather these two tokens. Three tokens, actually. I can count. Now let's go over here. There's mines. Got it. All right, let's keep moving forward. There's more mines. Quite a few, in fact. I wonder if we get to use something like that in the future. Okay, there's a green switch. Shoot it. What does it do? Oh, it, oh, it opens up the shortcut. Cool. We can go this way after we're done. Awesome. At least we know there's a shortcut here. Definitely a good thing to know for the future. Let's keep moving. I'm 
honestly feeling a lot better playing this than I did Dark Souls. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand that's the point, but there's only so much rage a devil can take. You understand? Alright, I hear birds chirping, so let's find them quick. Oh, there it is! Get the bird, get the bird! Okay, bird safe. Time to blast these things. From what I understand, collecting birds is important in this game, so that's my priority here. Collect the damn birds. Alright, get the health back. Thankfully that one dropped health. That's a plus. Their screeches are so bizarre. I didn't think an ant could screech like that. Still, let's go to the right. We're gonna have to explore these caves as much as possible. Wait, there's more birds. All right, let's grab them. We have six, seven actually, seven birds. Wonder how many birds are in this area. They're being held captive from what I'm understanding. Okay, there's a nest. Okay, can I get this one out? What do I do about this one? Just blast the cage? What do I do about this? I don't know what to do here. Let's try blasting the cage, I guess. Nope, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Nope, this isn't getting me anywhere. Okay, so I can't shoot the cage. Well, makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's not like I have a, a laser gun that could easily pierce these nets. But, oh well. Can't shoot a freaking birdcage. Not sure what to do about that, really. Just gotta maybe interact with it? Let's try that. Let's interact with the birdcage. Maybe look at it or something. I mean, the bird's cute, don't get me wrong, but do I have to knock it around? Unless this bird just lives here? It's in a cage, it shouldn't be. Wait, why am I feeling sorry for this thing? I think we're done here. Let's go. All right, so we've got the machine gun. So maybe that can open this particular lock? Oh, okay. So the speed of the gun is what opens it, not the firing itself. Got it. Makes sense. More drones. These guys are persistent little bugs. Literally. Oh, okay. So they can just throw regular grenades as well as mines. We grab their guns. Need the ammunition after all. Ammo management in a cutesy game like this is not what I was anticipating. Okay, got machine gun ammo upgrade. Nice. Okay, let's see what I have to do here. Oh. Okay. More of these flying things. Okay, cool. I'll just shoot them down with a machine gun. Nothing major, right? Gotta watch myself so I don't die. Simple enough. Got two health left. My aim is terrible, but I'm still gonna get done. That takes care of that. I must admit, these guns pack quite a punch. I am pleasantly surprised by the turn of events taking place here. Though I do need some help. That much I know for certain. Also, this music is... interesting, to say the least. Oh, no you don't! If anyone's killing the birds, it's going to be me. And I don't want to do that, because I know that the objective is to save them. Also hear more bird chirping, so let's find the other ones, shall we? Okay. Oh no you don't! No you don't! Damn it! One of them got killed. You bastard! You're going to pay for that. Can at least get the other two. Where's the other one? Where's the other bird? I know I didn't have two die, only one did. Okay, let's get you. Gotcha. There's another one in the cage. Do I just blast it or what? That doesn't seem to work. How do I get to these birds? I'm so confused by the ones in the cages. There must be a way. Unless this is one of those games we'll have to backtrack later? Didn't think that were a thing here, but I guess so. Goodbye, drone. Still, I gotta say, shooting them is satisfying. Feels good to just blast them. What's up here? 
This path leading me to the side is important. It is. It's a health upgrade. Definitely want those. I feel like there's a lot more to this game on the surface. It can't just be just running and shooting, right? I'm immensely confused by this, but in a good way. I didn't think that were possible, but lo and behold, I am actually intrigued and invested in what I'm playing. I actually want to try with this game, and it doesn't feel like it's ripping all my hairs out just to play it. So, yeah, I think for mugs and to get my form back, I'll stick through this. I definitely think this is one worth sticking through. Okay, what is that bug following me? Oof! That, I must admit, it is satisfying to watch their heads just fly off. It's a satisfying feeling, to say the least. Okay, grab these tokens. I have a feeling we're going to be needing a lot of those, so the more we collect, the better. Get rid of you. Alright. This door must lead to the exit, I'm hoping. Hopefully out of this level and onto something new. Hello, drone. Get back here. You aren't hiding from me. And that drone is dead. Though I am noticing there's another pathway. So let's load up our machine gun and go take a look. Where does this lead? Okay, I'm seeing another path. At least I think. Could just be... Oh, it's just a reach round. Okay, that's good at least. Thankfully it's not overcomplicating things. Is there anything else I need? Oh, more ammo. Can't complain about that. Alright, so I think we're done here. Sad to say we did lose a bird, but it is what it is, I suppose. There were 19 of those? Huh. I guess there's a lot more to explore here than I anticipated. Okay, so when do I save? Because I'm not seeing a point where I can save. Okay, let's talk to this hedgehog. You made it past the nasty ant army. Up ahead is Freyna Mountain, a peaceful mountain. Oh, so no enemies there? Good. You'll need to climb this cave to get there. Wouldn't it be easier if you didn't have all these heavy weapons weighing you down? Not a frog in sight, but a leaping tamarind? That would be a lovely sight. Oh, please let me see. I guess we're giving up our weapons? Marvelous. You can get them back from me when we get into any dangerous places. Yes, I'd like to know how to climb this mountain. See this cliff edge? To get there, stand near the opposite cliff edge and hold down the left trigger, then press A. When you get to Freyna Mountain, climb the mountain and meet me at the top. I'll wait for you there. Okay, but before we do that, let's explore over here. There's another one of those springboard things. Can't really do anything with that yet, because we don't have it. Okay, so let's jump! Oh, so it automatically does it. Well, that's convenient, I think. Still, I would like a save point at some point. And let's... Okay, it's very specific, so... Make sure you're aimed just right. Don't go absolutely to the edge. Just slightly near it. Like so, I believe. There we go. Okay, let's cross this and let's go. And here we have Freyna Mountain. Any narrations? Any at all? I don't think so. Have we saved? I... Okay, I've collected a memoir. Does that mean I've saved the game yet? Or no? Okay, I've got berries now. Uh, there's a little treehouse over there. What does this do? Let's place some birds in the treehouse. Okay, in they go. And out pops one of those little glowy bug things. Okay, what do I do with this? I jump on it and I collect it, I guess. Okay, so two bugs. I think it's saved, so um, I'm going to take a break. This has to be the most perplexing game I've seen, but it's beautiful. Oddly enough, I find it to be nice. It's peaceful, relaxing, very well made, the music is nice, and I do love the contrast of this cutesy, adorable thing 
against blasting aliens and seeing their guts fly out. Not what I anticipated, but you know what, I'll take it. So tune in next time as I venture through Freina Mountain. But until then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from this rather interesting experience. Also be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on, so you know when I am venturing further down this path to get my form back, and actually enjoy myself while doing it. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being Sebastian Canino, Aaron Lena, Darcy Williams, Jesse Barbo 6, Panda 475, Nagi Oki, Mickey War, Mighty Chlorophyte, Honor Higgins, Jesse Alvarez, Grimmy Leon, Ruby the Wolf, Harley Wolf, and Katie Honey Jade. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, as well as exclusive Let's Plays, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with all that said, this has been the devil, and we will all burn in the flame again next time. Ciao!